It is not the premier title belt in the division if there is such a thing, but Shannon Briggs can be at least within line uh, with the nomenclature of the sport in saying to the world tonight, I am a heavyweight champion after his 12th round knockout over Leo Ovich. Larry, your thoughts on that and on what it means to Vladimir Klitschko versus Galvin Brock next week? I don't think it means anything for next week, but I think that's an awfully good win for Briggs, obviously. And I think that if he can win another fight or two and eventually fight the winner of Brock and Vladimir, that that would be meaningful. I think it's a better, this was a better route for him than the original route, which was to fight Klitschko next week. Now he's got something behind him, and that fight, if it ever occurs, will be a meaningful fight. Many still think that Klitschko has a weak chin. Clearly, he's faster than Brock. How big are Brock's chances in the fight against Klitschko? What I look for in a fighter like Brock is what happens when he starts getting hit? What kind of adversity? And next week, we'll show you the seventh round of his fight with Jamil McCline when a short left hook put him on his seat. He got up and tore after McCline for the rest of the round and for the rest of the fight. If that's who he is, then he may be a better fighter than we know. Our expert commentator, Emmanuel Stewart, as you know, trained Lennox Lewis to dominance in the heavyweight division. He's had got a spectacular heavyweight title fight record, more than 20 wins, only one loss, that being Lewis's unexpected knockout loss to Hasim Rahman in South Africa, later avenged. You tell me that Vladimir Klitschko is well on his way to becoming what Lennox Lewis was for you, the man who can dominate the division for quite some time. Where is he as he gets ready for Calvin Brock next week? Yes, to your first part. But, you know, all you can do is be the best of your era. Lennox Lewis was the best from, from like, from 90 to 2000. And as a heavyweight, he was a dominant factor, uh, was the undisputed champion, beat everyone of his era. And that's what Latterman wants to do. He said, really, the organization titles don't mean that much to him. He wants to be like Lennox. He wants to beat all of the top heavyweights out there. That's why he took the fight with Sam Peter, because we told him that Sam Peter was more respected than even the champions. So he said, I want to fight him. Now he wants to hurry up, hopefully win this fight next week, and then to get on to fighting the other champions. So he wants to be what Lennox Lewis was, to be the best fighter of his era. What's your biggest concern about Brock? I think Brock is, first of all, he's a basically a fundamentally good sound fighter. And, and we did a closer look at him and found out that his defense is pretty good. Outside of the little short left hook where he got knocked down by Jamil McClain, which as Larry pointed out, he got up and he won the rest of that round. Uh, and he has good stamina. He does not get tired. So we're taking him very serious. You know, he doesn't have tremendous speed, this and that, but he's basically sound in every area. Jab, hook, uppercut, and he's undefeated. And that's next Saturday night.